What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needle Podcast, episode 70. 70 episodes of this Madden talk that y'all been listening to me, so I appreciate y'all, man, for real. It's been a long grind, but we are at 70, 70, bro. 70. So there it is. But glad you guys come by. I'm glad you guys are in the chat. You guys can watch this live, twitch.tv slash dub dot every Tuesday night. We do this. You sub, you can talk in the chat, you can be part of the show. That's the point, man. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about us as a community. So I appreciate y'all coming by. And today we honestly one of these situations where um, I feel like, bro, it's really don't be not a lot of shit to talk about. But then, no matter what, whether I'm asleep, whether I'm up, whether well, no matter what happens, it never fails. It never fails that there's something that happens that we can talk about every single week. Cause after the show, I'll be like, damn, I'm a little worried about what I'm gonna go next. You know what I'm saying, or I'm a, I'm gonna be a little bit uh. I'm going to be a little bit, you know, I'm going to be confused on what to talk about. And that's what I think about all day, you know. And, and then when the week goes on, as the days go on, as the people play Madden, as the people complain, as the people go back and forth with each other, whatever it may be, it always becomes something I can talk about on the show regarding the Madden community. All the time. It happens. It's nonstop. So this week, turn on my Xbox. This week... Shout my man Turbo Chef with the sub, man. I appreciate it. Turbo Chef, man. Thank you. In the Twitch chat, man. If you're on YouTube, you be in the Twitch chat. And if you're in the Twitch chat, you want to watch these old podcasts, youtube.com slash dub.w. All those links are below. All those links are somewhere. If you try to find them, you will find them. I promise you. But, um, so we go about the week. Now, this was a big week because, uh, when did, does anybody, uh, did anybody start or did anybody, whatchamacallit, when did LCQ start, right? LCQ started, I want to say, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Chat, is that when LCQ started? I want to see. LCQ, obviously, the last chance qualifier is the last tournament of the year for the EA Majors, so uh, everybody's grinding it. Um, top 48 on Xbox and PlayStation will be in the tournament. Um, it started pretty much right after the DC Challenge. I don't think it started January. If it did, that's crazy. So, oh, January 28th, there it is. Okay. So, since the beginning of the leaderboards, chat, we waited for this update. Did we not? Because the first, because you kind of forget what the gameplay is like because everybody's on DC. You get introduced back into the salary cap, back into the mutt mode, back into this, uh, how do I want to build my team, this, that, and the third mode. You get put back into this, the mode that Volterax won with no quarterback. So we get put back into it. We play it for two weeks. Everybody complains. What are the main complaints about chat? That's what I want to know. After the first two weeks, what are the main complaints about? We complain about what? You can still win with no quarterback. Um, when they don't have a quarterback, there's you know there's a thousand cap on defense. It's hard to score against that. That is the main things we talked about. That was the main things. And since then, since. Since EA got a good sample size of our gameplay and a good sample size of our thoughts, and when I say R, I mean, you know, the top, you know, competitive players, the top 50, 100 competitive players, you know, they got a good, they got a good dosage of that data and how we're playing and what we think about the game. So we waited and we told, we're told there was going to be cap updates. You know, there were going to be updates to the cap. Some abilities were going to be lowered. Some abilities were going to be raised. And uh, we were excited about it. As a community, I know I was as a pa <clears throat> excuse me as a passer. I was excited. I said, "What are they going to do to help uh, passing be more prominent, or passing be more usable, or passing be more?" You know, I don't want to say. I don't know if the word's easier, but maybe the word is easier. Make passing a little bit easier. Make running a little bit more difficult. Stop letting people that run have you know thousand cap all defenses. So we waited and we waited and we thought this would be the update that saved the mode. We thought that. And not maybe we didn't think that, but we hoped that. We hoped that. So that's how we felt. We hoped that this mode would save it. This mode would just change the entire landscape of salary cap. And I'll be the first to tell you, it did none of that. Did none of it. I I this was pretty much for me was the most useless. Salary cap update ever. Really, it, 
it could have been the same as if we didn't even even have an update. 1000%. If we didn't even have an update, it's literally the exact same mode. It's the exact same game. There is no update. In fact, in fa and I will take it to this one stream. The only people in the world that were affected by this update were people that ran New Orleans with quarterback blast. That's it. Those are the only people that this affected substantially. Yeah, it might have affected you guys. You might have, might have been 10 cap over or 5 cap over. Whatever it may be. But the only... as, as we look, Let's take a look at the actual updates. We can take a look at these actual updates and see how they're looking. Let me move this over here. No, seriously. like It is the only... Here we go. Right? Inside stuff. Something... Here we go. Inside stuff, something that was actually pretty good that we could have used to stop the run that went up in cap. No outsider went up in cap. Run stopper went up in cap. And then the pass rush things, they went up a little bit. You know, for me, uh, honestly, <clears throat> for how powerful these pass rush abilities are, uh, especially uh, edge threat elite, pass rush elite, all these going up to 50 cap for me is like why would i have power specialists now when i can have pass rush elite that's only five more cap really you know arm by one of five cap one of five now you see all these things <clears throat> you see all these updates to the cap 10 cap 10 10 was pretty much the biggest update right until we come down here to fast break is up 25 cap you can count pretty much add all these other updates together right and add them together, it won't be up 25 cap. You know? So for uh, for me, uh, this is... I don't think there's one person that said fast break is bad. Fast break is really good. I'll be the first to tell you. as I can't even see this on the screen. But fast break is really good. It really is. Uh, but the thing is, it has a huge weakness. And the huge weakness is that you will fumble the football. You know? If you guys watch me play... Or anything like that you'll see you fumble the football that is the huge weakness of fast break 1 million percent but it was deemed the number one thing they had to update that's what it was deemed EA said that's what we need to make more cap we go out here this is the passing ones we did think if they lowered some of these passing things it would it would help the game uh, I guess they lowered a lot of these uh, so, so little that I mean it's like It's like, I guess post special, I guess things are lowered a little bit to help passing for the most part. I mean, the number one thing that wasn't lowered is, is escape artists, you know? I mean, we lowered a lot of these. I wonder if, if I don't know. I, get, I just think it's impossible to play this game. I, I think it's impossible to play this game. I mean, I'll, passing a... a as a full passing offense with a pocket quarterback. So that for me, a lot of these pass lead, pocket lead, six feet lead, pass lead elite, uh, all these things, pocket dead eye. Uh, I, I, I really feel like even conductor, conductor is something that in the past was so so good for so many years. Yeah, the mobile quarterbacks don't get it anymore. So these, these things to me are, uh, uh, yeah, obviously from the outside looking in, they help the passing game, but that's really not uh, that for me. That's really not substantial update to the passing game at all because there's simply things that people won't use or aren't effective in high level gameplay at all. You know. So, for me, uh, yeah, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, I was I was highly. Now these, I, I said that these should be almost free. These the the X factor abilities, the ones you have to reach to get and actually have to like. Like I feel like these uh these should be damn near free. Maybe not the defensive ones. Maybe not wrecking ball or I don't know. But we see them so rarely. Honestly, <clears throat> we see these so rarely in um in competitive men that honestly, from a viewing standpoint, it'd be cool to see a lot of these guys glow up or something like that. I think it would be something cool. And I don't think they're really overpowered. I don't think obviously Mossed. I don't want somebody in the chat saying Mossed. You know, uh, 
I don't want to hear Moss. That's not a real one. The rest of these, I'm really not sure which one would be overpowered, honestly. Even defensive ones. Uh, Unstoppable Force, obviously, is a, a, a tough-ass chem, but, you know, if you get three sacks, you should be glowing, you know? So, but like I said, this update for me was, uh, you might as well have not had an update. That That's how it was. We would be, uh, honestly, for me, it would have been better without an update. I, I, between Power Specialist, 10 cap, Fast Break, uh, 25 cap, I went up, I was 35 cap over when I looked at my team. 35 cap over. You know? So for me, it, it definitely, like I said, I don't know who thinks this update did anything positive to the game. Literally, I, I, I could agree that nobody would, nobody would say this update was positive. No, there's no, honestly, it could have been no update and would have been the same exact thing, really. And, and I, I, I would be, I would be surprised to find any of you guys in the chat, any of you guys on YouTube that think this update was any good. Honestly, uh, I think it was a complete waste of energy, a complete waste of resources for what they came out and did not improve the game at all. Did not improve the gameplay uh, a tad. Honestly, I mean, for me, uh, major changes could be happening. Honestly, what do we got? Like three weeks left for the leaderboard i feel like there's not we're not i doubt they're going to do another change right they're not going to do another change i think this is it you know what i'm saying chat i think this is the end of the updates and everything or the end of the end of yeah i think this is the cap that we're going to play on i don't know if this is the cap that madden bowl is going to be played on i could see them doing something after last chance maybe tweaking it a little bit uh, but we shall see. Like I said, I was I was thoroughly disappointed in this update and what it did for uh, for salary cap, especially for me. I mean, I don't. It's not always all about me, but I. I but it killed me, um, killed me. But uh, as far as everybody else, I don't think anybody would would have said this was a positive update. But that's all. And uh, we'll see. Like I said, I don't think they'll really have another one. Um, but like I said, you guys can tell me if you think it was good. The Clint, I, I, listen, when we talk about Clint, you're talking to me, Trish Styles. did you say that? Shout out to the sub, man. But for me, Clint, uh, obviously I have a relationship with Clint as, he's a friend of mine, I guess. Uh, yeah, he's a good guy and he really takes a lot of pride in what he does and, and you guys always spend all day just at and I'm just, just completely just, you know, just. And this goes to the point where, like, man, I, I don't want to say this community. It's not really us as competitive people. It's really just, bro, like, man and people in general, man. Cause this is how we do, man. Cause let's look at Twitter right here. This was, um, this was the interaction between K Mac. We all know K Mac. Now this is a joke that's been a running joke all year. Ha ha ha. And joke and as we say joke joke was probably the first one really doing this my cousins want stars to be stars they're eight years old let's put the more abilities in the game or whatever it may be so for me you have came right here my eight-year-old cousin really loves passing the ball but he can't drop back because three pass rush elites you know it's pretty much a joke to where help help the kids learn how to pass it's a s completely sarcastic a sarcastic joke of a tweet. One million percent. It is It is just a backhanded, uh, what's the one? Like, just a nonsensible, sarcastic tweet. One million percent. And they all are. It's all for jokes and giggity giggities. Right? And Clint, who says, all right, I will respond. He says, this sounds like a great opportunity to teach your cousin about how the game of football is about making adjustments and improve an importance of a strong old line some with abilities of their own, right? So for me, I mean, damn, he's pretty right, right? Because uh, at the end of the day, shout out to Uncle Luke with the sub. So y'all get some my back when you act right, bro. But anyway, yes, and Clint was down. To, honestly, when I sat and read it, obviously it's easy to kill him. Like, oh, he don't care about men. But it makes sense, right? It kind of makes sense. You know, like, bro, maybe I go get a... a an offensive line ability if I'm really worried about pass protection, you know? But for me, it's 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 really, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of, it's unsensible to, 
expect the offensive player to get offensive line abilities. It's, it's really kind of damaging to the offense, I want to say. You know? Uh, yeah, I don't know what drink. I don't know what drink comment was. You know. Now, now this guy, Dustin, he said he don't care about your cousin. That's what he said. Spend more money. That's what. That's what this fucking guy got out of that. He what he got out of Clint's comment, which made sense. Honestly, can we say at the end of the day? Clint, it made sense. But maybe to stop some of these D-line abilities, you should get some offensive line abilities, which probably would work. It might work. It might not. I, for one, am cool with my 14 caps going up against the 100 cap defensive lineman. I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, when we look at it, we take it for what it is, it kind of makes sense. Maybe, maybe you need some offensive line abilities if that's what you're worried about as far as the pass rushers, right? Now... So now this guy says, but what he got out of it is Clint wants you to spend more money. I didn't get that out of that at all, you know? You know? Now this guy can't stop 146. Now he can't stop. So this guy is a super fucking bot. Lurk God. Super bot. He can't, he's still complaining about 146. And this is what's, what's nuts, man. Where is, where is the, uh, this is the one where they kill him. Let me see. O-line doesn't matter. Or you could code the game so the O-line actually functions. Look at this fucking bot. Look at this bot. Oh, he don't even have a picture. I don't even know what this guy looks like. That's Barry Sanders. Funk, you could code the game. Yo, anybody that says code the game in an argument, bro, they're a super bot. Or mechanics. Those are the two. Bro, if you hear code in the game or mechanics... Bro, if they say mechanics, bro, just stop listening to everything they say. One million percent. They suck. I mean, that's a good point. My man Hawk said the community would love when you stream some some weekend league so we can see the issues while you play a game. Now, Clint, Clint might suck at Madden, bro. Making a game don't mean he'd be good at it, man, you know? They don't work. Now, I don't know. I didn't really try them. And honestly, I feel like I feel like they kind of work. I remember Secure Pass Block we had in the beginning of the year before the double team feature. They were kind of good. And this guy's curl says, ability these nuts. And then this guy says, ha, 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 ha. The, look, ability these nuts. Like, y'all, this is our humor level right now. Ab look, look at Krill. Ability these nuts. That's our fucking, that's our intelligence level right now. I was like, when are we going to see some flames when we're throwing the ball? Okay. I'm telling you, this is just disgusting. And this is the shit that I... I mean, maybe y'all can't... I got to make this a little bit bigger. But this is just the shit that just like... I'm just like, what? Is this really how we're at right now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I just... Like, I read this. Like, I don't know. I'm a loser. I read all this stuff. I'll be wanting to see what people say. Because I'll be catching some of y'all in these comments. And y'all be out here like, Krill, look. And now this guy says, you think we could make that more viable and make there be a pregame screen where we lock in our defense and offensive factor and we can see the opponents. Okay, Scott, that makes that makes perfect sense. But if you put if you put secure pass blockers out there, why wouldn't he just take his secure pass, his pass rush off and put enforcers on? At what point who gets the last change? It's not this is not ice hockey. The home team doesn't get the last change. Like at what point do you have that? You know, you can't say something like that. Major L, this game is broken because he said get some pass, get some pass blocking abilities to counter the, the the pass rushing abilities. Now this guy, this is his second comment. This guy's his second comment so far. Is this is, X Factor? Is this you? That's it. He got comment twice. So nice he did it twice. <laughs> they got somebody gotta hear him, bro. Now this guy, how yo, how do I get on mad and I can't log into the game? Bro, you got all types of different shit going on with you, my G. Your shit is all fucked up. Berman, I know I know sports, bro. 
maybe if you were taught how to make adjustments and be a strong old lineman, you would still be in the NFL and not producing a crappy video game with hero abilities. That's what my man said. If you were taught how to make adjustments and be a strong old lineman, you would still be in the NFL. Bro, like, this shit is just like... And look, 69 fucking people like this. Says, bro, if you knew if you knew how to make adjustments, you'd be in the NFL still. Clinton is like 38. Look, oh, I love you. Ha ha. Ha. Play. Yeah. 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 The tw- yeah. Ha ha ha. That's funny. Ha ha. He's not in the NFL no more. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha de ha ha. Fucking ha ha. Bro, I swear to God, man. The boss is like. They are superpowers. Yeah, they, 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 everybody funny as shit, bro. I hate people say this. My 10-year-old cousin tried using abilities on O-line, but now his wide receivers get pressed three, three row. My, I, I, I don't know what game y'all play. I really don't know what game y'all play that y'all bring up press this much. I, I, I have never noticed it. And that's with the shittiest receivers to the best receivers. Now this guy wants a 40 second play clock. Jesus Christ, okay. How is rushing three when blocking five have to make? First of all, press is decent, but it's not like, oh my God, I, no. No, but I'm saying it's not like, but it's not like, oh my God, is I need, I need to have beat the press ability. Like I, I feel like this. I feel, I feel like a, as an offensive player, it's my job to to be able to beat the press. Like between motions, between the play calls, and between my wide receivers, what routes I put them on. I feel like, I feel like a good passer is not going to deal, not going to. I feel like a good passer is not going to lose because the press is too good. That's just how I feel. That's how I feel about that, honestly. That's how I've always felt about press, really. Plus, honestly, I I've ran tight, and then I guess the wide trips you could press, but tight, you I feel like tight you can never press that shit. I don't know. It's like it's been like that in Madden for years. Like you can just never press it. And it's the thing with with press too. Yes, the animation, the animation is rough, like the press hand. But once they eventually get off the press animation, I feel like it's a touchdown. That's how I feel about press. Especially with 99 speed wide receivers, even if your your DB is 99 speed too, if they get a press animation once they get off it, you know what I'm saying? Then GGs. Madden has never gotten covers correct. Like yo, the amount of people that just make accounts to fucking talk, bro. And this is my rule: people like this, I just don't even reply to. You need at least 100 followers for me to talk to you. I'll be honest. Or at least a picture of yourself. Like, I don't know who Anthony is, right? But I, he got a couple followers. But he got actually a picture of himself. I would talk to him. Oh, here go number. How many adjustments did you need to make in your all your two NFL games you played? Your game is shit. Meanwhile, this guy's working at fucking Walmart. Ha, ha, ha. Like, yo... And the worst part is, man, yo, they people just so ass. Here we go. Laughing my ass off. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. I'm just saying. There's nothing wrong with Walmart, but you can't clown somebody and say, oh, you only played two games in the NFL. Bro, what, like, what type of shit is that, bro? Like, you know how, like, I'd be upset, like, they'd be killing me, bro. I can't even imagine, bro. I really couldn't even imagine this shit, bro. And everybody hates stretch, bro. Everybody hates stretch, chat. Chat, everybody complains about stretch. Who the fuck are the ones running stretch? I need to find them. Because we never hear from them. Apparently, all these fucking air raid offense players hate stretch. All these air Coriels, they all out here airing the ball out, huh? All these dudes are fucking kids on Twitter. Everybody hates the stretch. I can't stop stretch. All these kids, that's all they say. Am I lying? They all, bro, everybody thinks. 
for real. I gotta find the ones that ass. I gotta find the ones that that that, that run stretch. Cause I've never found them. I've never ran into somebody that 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 doesn't pass. Apparently on Twitter, everybody passes. Everybody wants to pass and air the ball out. That you know I'm saying. That's what Twitter make it seem like. And it's just like, bro, the way these kids just come, like, and these kids are so fucking bad and clueless at Madden. They are so bad and clueless. And honestly, they really don't even give a fuck about Madden. They just want to, you know what I'm saying? You should teach you how to blitz and put DB and put contain so he can't be blocked. No, Chris. The First of all, they're 10 followers. I don't even want to argue with this guy, but he has a picture of his own. First of all, if you're still complaining about contain blitzes, if you if you say contain blitzes as a problem, God, you're fucking awful, bro. Like, you're just awful. Just literally terrible. Now, this guy, Dog Nation. I, he has Deion Sanders' this picture right here. Look at him. Deion Sanders, but he played offensive line in high school and never got insta-shedded. He never got insta-shedded. He played offensive line and never, ever got insta-shedded. This guy is the best fucking player ever. Bro, I'm surprised he didn't go D1, honestly. I'm surprised. I am surprised that he didn't go D1. Oh, my God, dude. Clinton, buddy, in all seriousness, I've stayed silent and spent much of time thinking about abilities. My conclusion is that abilities inherit learning the game of football. Bro, y'all want to learn the game of football? Bro, this is what the fuck you do. This is what you do. You sign up, little Timmy, for the fucking Pee Wee League down the street. Get out of the house. That's it. Get out of the house. If your goal is to teach the kids football through Madden, he never going to learn. Like, holy shit, man. I, I, I don't even want to read none of this shit no more. Sign the kid up in the Pee Wee League. Nah, man, these comments would get to me. These fucking idiots, bro. Consistently throwing the triple covers. Who throws in, other than Wesley, who throws in the triple covers down the field consistently? Who does that? Who does that successfully? Who does that? Nah, bro, that shit would piss me off, honestly. It pisses me off, and they're not even talking to me. They run directly contrary to the vision Madden had with the game, Teach. So, and... Fucking morons. Like, <laughs> like who does that shit, bro? Who struggles? Bro, I, I, I want to run into the person that throws in the triple covers. What ability do you need to throw in the triple covers? I need to throw that one. Moss? All right, Moss. Moss is, we didn't talk about Moss before. Moss was fucking stupid. It was. I'm glad that shit corny. People always want to find a way to hate. Bro, you can be a billionaire, right? And they're going to say, damn, you don't got 10 billion, though. That, that's, how, that's how human beings are. They will find some way, like, they will find some way. Oh, I just made a billion. They say, oh, you don't got two billion. That's what they'll say. The brokest motherfuckers. The dude working at Walmart. Ryan Chandler. Uh, he got a picture of his dog. Bro, it's these dudes with no, like, there's nobody good in these. My favorite part is blocking seven against four blitzers out of dime one, four, six. Anybody that says, anybody that adds, like, the dime or big dime, or, you know, to, if anybody says anything other than 146, and if they take the time to put these fucking dashes in 146, bro, they are pure shitters. They are pure shitters. They're not even advanced shitters. They're pure shitters. Pure, they are fucking latrine shitters. That's why I don't even care to play online, even if I win most of my games. And that's what they fuck. Yo, here go the biggest lie in Reddit, the biggest lie on Twitter. I win most of my games, or I won this game, but I got cheated. But I did win. I won. Even if I win most of my games, it's lame crap like this. Developers not caring or understanding that football fans are not stupid. 
makes you want to turn it off and just go play a different game like Call of Duty or Forza Motorsports. Bro, pure shitters. Like, absolutely pure shitters. And honestly, what we have to, what we have to realize is that, bro, this is 95% of the people that, that Clint has to sell this game to. These are 95% of the people that play the game. Seriously. Like, and that's crazy to really think of that, bro. Even if I win most of my games. That, they be lying so bad, bro. They be lying so bad. Even if I win most of my games. If you can't actually recognize that the gameplay for this year's game is not good, you should just resign. You probably, you should probably be deactivated again instead of coming back at pro players to defend a subpar product. Like, what? Yo... He literally made the worst sports game of all time. This is somebody literally woke up yesterday. If this is the worst sports game of all time, you woke up yesterday. Honestly, it's, it might you might have played this and like NBA Live 2020. Oh, oh, here goes this guy again. Here goes our offensive lineman. He came back for seconds, chat. He came back for seconds. Weren't you also the one who said there isn't any superpowers? Why would we need abilities if we're trying to play realistic? We're trying to play realistic. Bro. I mean, I, I can't lie. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, Angel Russo, he has a point right here. That what ability, I, I don't like when I send the blue, when I send the spy and it sends my zones. I don't like that shit, you know? I don't like I, Andrew Russo. I'm going to like this tweet right here because I agree, bro. Clint, you are one of the worst game devs I've ever seen. Anybody that says fucking devs, anybody that says devs, devs, the fucking word devs, devs, just a shitter, period. Shitter. Bro, there are words we're learning today, chat. Do not use on Twitter. Devs, mechanics, what's the other one? Gaming code, bro. You are one of the worst game devs I've ever seen. Guard chat, this is what I want to know. Chat, together, do we know any other game devs in the history of gaming? Let's go, let me hear some. Does anybody know any other, any other gaming devs? Okay, Rex, the other Madden guy. Let's get him another one. Ronnie 2K. Make a list of fucking people we know to compare Rex to compare Clint to. Will players be able to fly in Madden 2020? Or are the superpowers EA had given oh asking for a friend? Or are this like yo, I yo, I don't think I'm no, I really don't think I'm like the funniest person in the world, chat. But when I read Gabe, when I read Gabe try to make a fucking joke, are players gonna be able to fly in Man 21? Or are their superpower EA has given them already all they are getting? I'm asking for a friend. I, yo, they turned me into, I, I'm goddamn, you know what I mean? I'm Richard Pryor after reading these dudes tell jokes. Probably the worst online, online man of all time. Yeah, trying to give advice how to make adjustments on the old line. The only old lineman that could barely get game time, not alone make adjustments himself. Straight clown. Bro, like, dude. Y'all dudes. I'll block y'all too, bro. I'm really about to start blocking everybody. Starting with Niner. Niner, I see that dry ass joke too, Niner. Take 10 minutes to think about yourself. That's why you deactivated Twitter, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. Do you even play the game? Because you could have the best old line in the game and still get insta sacked. Insta sacked. Another, another, here goes another fucking word. Any insta shed, insta sacked. Shitter. Somebody says that insta sack shitter. Period. I yo, know, I really all this time being a streamer, I never realized how much fun it is to time you fuckers out. Hell yeah. Earl gonna come back with a paragraph. <laughs> yo, he put a little timer up on his computer and everything. Jay Drippy with the sub, man. The Twitch Prime. Thank you, Jay. Put some hennies in the chat. 
this game's trash. Please start from scratch. It's 2020 and players are still going through each other. Everything is animation based. Blocking is horrible and it costs hundreds of dollars to get a strong offensive line. That's your first fucking problem. You spent money on an offensive line. Fucking idiots, man. Who you watch with an offensive line? We, we, the people of CFM, would like to scrimmage mode for our teams next year. Perm this is this is the good one right here, bro. We, yeah, this is this is a good one. You realize you can't pass without wide receiver abilities. That's a fucking lie. You can. They might just might drop the ball from time to time. That's crazy. That's all. Ha 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 ha. Yo, y'all maybe I'm really Richard Pryor compared to this Twitter community. Good job, Adam. Good job, Adam Robs. 100, bro. That's why you got 700 followers, my G. One fucking hundred. Boom. Everybody stop bitching. Adam Robs. I mean, if he followed me, I'd follow him back. But you know, he he not a real he not a real real one. Okay, he knows he can give scrub. Like, bro, my this is my old line. Well, first of all, you're a dickhead for having this many damn offensive linemen. I can't even sit in the pocket for a half a second. I can't, not a half a second. I can't sit in the pocket. Yo, the worst people, I will tell you from experience, the worst people are these, I didn't even put a picture up, people. Because when they have, they have three followers and they're fucking mean, bro. These dudes are fucking mean, bro. Look, here we go. 65 followers still has no oh long hair don't care follows this guy nj dub this crazy texan bro these dudes are psychos bro bro these dudes are psychos 13 followers followed by bg fam who the fuck do y'all follow right now chat holy shit haha <laughs> madden mimics real football i just want to hear somebody else say code or devs What's the other word? Code, devs, or mechanics. Give us one more ability on each side of the ball. It's that time of the year anyway. I agree with you, Lamar Jernigan. That's a good tweet. O-line is a placebo on Madden. O-line has been a placebo on Madden for years. Like, for every year of Madden. Bro, I don't know who the fuck you... I don't... Bro, you don't even have a name, long hair. You're not even a human being, bro. If your name was, like, Jamal13 or something, I would know. But your name is Long Hair. Don't Care. Like, that's the corniest fucking name on Twitch history. Like, my man right here, First Class Al, or First Class Foul, whatever... He got a better name than you, bro. Yeah, I gotta see Big Dime 146. I gotta hear that. When somebody says Big Dime, when someone uses the word Big Dime, oh, they're a shitter. Diving catches should not be automatic. Defenders should not watch you complete passes. I'll be honest. I, I, I'm i not mad at that. Them, we, we don't talk enough about this. You can just dive in front of somebody's face and my DB can't do shit because nobody really passes and it's not like passes are winning. All right. Passers aren't winning, but the passers were winning, and pa and people actually passed in this game like a lot. Yo, the diving catches like that when people dive in front of everybody's face. Yeah, that shit is old. D. But you need ability. You need abilities to catch a diving catch. When are you gonna stop with the, this guy? Came back for seconds, bro. Y'all people that come back for seconds are crazy. I, this is fun for me, honestly. I, I, it's fun for me to read how people react to Clint. I, that, that, that's like my favorite thing in the world. It really is. 
Guys lighting up. Oh, we got 233. Guys lighting up. You have, oh, no, I can't give Clint, Clint the goofy voice. You have fun in my expense all the time. I can have fun too. Not every single tweet needs to be a war on the game or a dev team or me. Laugh. At least once a month. It's good for your soul. I laugh seeing people play man every day. <laughs> if my if my if I was president of the United States, my first action would be to shoot you into the sun. Five followers. And Clint responded. Probably wanna yo. Oh, he was definitely joking. No, he was joking. He, he I mean he was he, I mean it made sense. He was being serious, but he was like playing. No, I do, I do, I, I mean, shit. I'll tell you what, if there was an ability that I could put on my center and he would never get shedded, I would probably, I would think about it. It would make sense. It's not your fault the game sucks, but people do only play it because we love football and we are used to Madden filling our off-season void. Okay, Mr. Fun, okay. Not because Madden 20 is fun and has great gameplay. Physical appearance and aesthetically, it's the best man ever. Gameplay though is trash. Man does look good. I'm not mad at you. Mad Madden graphics are pretty tough. Oh, Mr. Funk came back for seconds. Okay, I like Oh, thirds too. Fourths. Mr. Funk went ape shit on this. Okay, Mr. Funk. I see your name affiliated to the EA higher ups, and since we live in an age where I can cry a river to, river right to you, I'm going to cry like a baby. I want Madden to not suck. I want to field a punt. I could get 30 yards on from my 15 one day without moving him there. Bro, this Mr. Fun is spitting. Yes, I want my guy to field a fucking punt. Yes, 100%. I agree. I bitch about this all the time. Bro, if I... Let me control that guy. If I want to move him out of the way, that's my... I want to be able to do that. Yo, I agree with this. I want I want to see things like scum kicking gone. AI not fielding kicks that are on the sideline bounced at two yards while people hound you. You can literally get safety on kickoff. I need to click on to fix your AI to prevent it. Mr. Funt is spitting. I, yes, JP, when they, where, where do you want to fill the punt? No, honestly, all I got to do is let me fill the punt every time. If I want to move him out the way, I can move him out the way. That's all. You guys try too hard to make the game for all types of ages. And you make the game for adults, kids won't like it. It'll be too hard. If you make it for little kids, adults will think it's too easy cheesy. I'm glad to be I'm glad to be cr critic grinding weekend league. I don't know when cuz this game sucks. Mm -hmm. I mean, I he made sense then he got a little crazy at the end of that then there. Mr. Funt spitting some shit. 3 followers. Bro, this no, I'm, he is spitting some shit. I gotta like his tweets. There's too much money down there for the game to suck this bad. Good fucking good. But yo, way to add this right here, man, bro. We needed that comment, bro. Yo, eleven people like that shit. There's too much money down there for the game to suck this bad. Here we go. Here go risky. If you guys show you cared at all about actual gameplay, maybe you wouldn't be so frustrated and hostile. But people think you don't care because you patch legitimate coin making methods instantly. But we are still waiting, dealing with bugs from the game's releases. Here we go. Or remember, it's a game and not get hostile at all. There's plenty of ways to express your displeasure. Reflect on things before you say them. We're expressing our displeasure for the most part in a civil manner. Those people telling Clint to fuck off or things of the nature are the ones that can point to but not people voicing their opinions about the issues they paid for. Oh, this is nuts. Here go, here go my Anthony Acuna. Bro, I'm sorry. Bro, I ain't really... Oh, my man, Fun is... Fun is fucking back! Yo, Fun is going ape shit. Oh, <laughs> Yo, I don't even want to read these, bro. I don't want to read no more Funs, bro. I don't. 
Because I think highly of Funt. It could only get worse. I, it could only get worse for Funt. I'll be honest. It could only get worse. The more Funt I read, the, I, I'm telling you, I feel like it's going to go downhill. I, I think Funt has actually got his head on his shoulders right now. Here we go. You ready? Bro, Funt put out another tweet. <coughs> another banger. On Twitter, in today's monetization market, you should expect nothing less. I get you aren't Andrew Wilson or whoever is the greedy one and just filed orders and try to make a good game every year with short notice, but we just have expectations because EA makes a lot of profit. Okay. Like. Chat, you guys can like these tweets too. Your servers are, are actually pretty good despite many issues compared to 2K or others. I fucking agree! Chat, I fucking agree! Bro, the servers we bitch so much about, the servers are fucking good for men. Think about the last five years. The servers are good! Personally, what drives my criticism is I go to the store, I buy a bundle, get jack all, and then go into a game where I still cannot field punts inside the 20. He's still mad about punts. It's an issue for me too. I don't like that. <laughs> Yo. Hold on, wait. Let's go back to I, <laughs> I routinely lose weekend league games where I pick off a pass on the one-yard line, fall into the end zone, it take 10 seconds to get off, and get safety. Then I give up a two, kick the ball back. Worse off, I get picks that should be six, and I'm down by contact, standing up untouched. Has he lied once? Has he lied one time? Yo, fun is spitting right there. Bro, Funt is just, Funt, Funt, Funt has the juice. When I load into the game, it looks fantastic in 4K. The animations are beautiful. What gets done with those animations is a wreck. The game looks good. Funt. <laughs> Please fix the servers. Fucking Kenny K. This dude, Kenny K, is a demon. And y'all follow him. Like, who do y'all just follow anybody? Yo, Funt had bars, bro. Okay, you got a highlight? Oh, no, I got to see this. It's a solo. He's restarting it. He got beat in a solo. I mean, he's got Vic. Oh, you can run like that? Okay. Oh, he got the real Vic highlights. Never mind. Okay. Okay. I mean, bro, I can't compete with this motherfucker. I, I can't compete, bro. I'm done. It's fucking done. We're following him, bro. It's fucking done. It's fucking done, bro. It's fucking done. This kid's a demon. What else he got? Oh, he got more? There's more? Oh, this is actually against somebody? Okay. Oh, he made my he he made my Vic look like Mariota, bro. Holy shit. Oh, he got Bunch D? Okay. Let me find out he got Bunch D. If he got Bunch D, bro. Oh, a little cover three. He deep halved. Okay. He didn't change this guy, though. Okay. He's on Von Miller. If he presses this guy at the line, this is my burner. If he presses the guy... Bro, I love it. I mean, okay. Get guard the corner out. That's it. That's it. No, he didn't throw at you, did he? I mean, that's your fault, my G. What else? Oh, bro, I'm. This is heaven right now, boys. Okay, a little split close. Okay. 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 He got time here. Oh, oh. Hey, hold on, chat. Let's uh, let's take a look at let's take a look at his fucking flawed offensive line here, chat. Let's take a look at it. Come on, boys. Let's take a look at it. Look at these fucking stalwarts right here. Yeah, he was getting insta shedded. Insta shedded right there, huh? I mean, you know. Fun as hell, bro. I mean, illegal touching? 
Can we get a legal fucking touching? Hold on, Clint. What? I spelled delete wrong, damn my ass. Okay, he's playing eagle sauce again. This is the one I just watched. I guess this is the one I watched. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's versatile. He got styles. What team is he, bro? Is he the white team or the red team? I want to laugh at him, bro. He's the white team? Okay. I like I like I like I like his cover four drop, one rusher, one spy. I like how he uses the cloud. Makes his defense a little more versatile. You don't know if he's gonna guard the flat or guard the middle, man. Hunt is really Funt is really on top of it. Okay, Lawrence Taylor lurk. See, I like this. I mean, user and Lawrence Taylor isn't the, the most wise thing you could do. I mean, can we be honest? My man's getting missiled right now, boys. Dot. Dot. I mean, these are, oh, double deep hat. Oh, this would bag me, bro. This right here, oh my God. Yo, you put this on my field, I lost. That's it, Chad, I lost. Like, you put this on my field, I know he has hard flats, but if you put this on my field, I lost. Dickhead. I mean, this dude don't do shit, but he don't even talk. Oh, did he say anything back yet? Bro, why he ain't following me back yet, bro? What the fuck, Hunt? Funt? Follow me back, bro. Follow me back, bro. That's all I want. I don't want much. But anyway, man, I'm done talking about fun, bro. It's just, it gets to the point where it's like, bro, is this really how we treat? Is this really how we gonna treat Clint? You know what I'm saying? Is that, Like, why would he ever... Why would he ever talk about the shit? Why would he ever talk on Twitter if that's how we all complain about? It? You feel me, chat? Like, bro, like. But the hardest thing for me to realize, and I have realized it every day, even more and more the last four or five years, is that those are the people we gotta. Those are the people that. Those are the people. I said, those are the people 
that for me uh, that EA has to cater to essentially or EA has to build their game for. You know what I'm saying? Like EA has to do that. And uh, those are the people that buy the game. Those are the people that, you know, buy muck cards, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. So for me, uh, you got to realize that, man. Mr. Funt, Mr. Funt is not the worst. He has some good things he wanted to add. But a lot of those dudes are like just absolute idiots. Like absolute lunatic idiots, man, honestly. But then let's talk about this this run D that came out this week. Now I don't know what happened. I'm not really hip on I'm kinda out of the loop. Now I heard this run D was ran on stream and I heard it was tough. Right? This happened, I want to say yesterday, chat. Protect or correct me if I'm wrong. You guys know more to me than this situation, bro. Th- did you have fun message, bro? That's a good question. I'll be having fun playing, man. I'll be honest. I, I, I won't tell you the game's fun, but I actually have fun playing this shit. But, um... So, apparently, uh, Schema had this run defense um, that was really tough, right? And somehow it got ran on stream and got out for the world, right? Uh, so, naturally... I, I would do the same thing, but I mean, listen... And we're gonna talk about ebooks, and this is all gonna be talked, all be tied into ebooks as well, bro. It really is. Um, it, it's all gonna be tied into ebooks. But this is my point. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know. I've never been the best at hiding things, like as far as you know. Let me keep this for when I need it, type of good person. Because one of my philosophies is like, I don't know. It's. It's tough for me to ever, like, really see something being that good, right? And then, like, saving it. Like, when I find something that's kind of good, like, I'll keep trying to run it on in, a, in the middle of a game. You know, that's just how I am. And it's, it's, it's bad, I guess, essentially. So I'm a bad example for this. But most people that find things or, or they want to sneak up with things, they really don't show anybody that. And, and, and the best example I can give you this year... Uh, Joker, a and B, man. They had the nasty streak on the Eagles, right? Um, and Lane Johnson in the first tournament. I don't know how they lost that shit because they had Lane Johnson and running the ball. I really don't know. I actually, Joker only really lost he, because he put Jordan Howard in the game. He fumbled. Uh, but they kind of hid that nasty streak and it came out of nowhere at the Madden Classic. Uh, same thing with, um, same thing with, uh, Madden Bowl or the Madden Club Championship. Joke kind of hid that, uh, the blast. So this scheme and came out of nowhere with the blast, right? Uh, so for me, uh, hiding things has helped them really advance in tournaments a lot, and some people do that. So apparently, uh, schema had this run defense that looks good. Honestly, a lot of times with run defense, man, uh, any defense, sometimes the better it like looks to the naked eye. Uh, what I was gonna say, um. A lot of times people, um, what I was going to say, when defenses look really good to the naked eye, um, for me, they sell better. Like the, the, the little dudes in Reddit and the people we just read in the comments, those are the people that, that will watch that and be like, oh, shit, yo, that, that that's tough. Oh, he just, sacked, he just sacked the quarterback. Oh, that's tough. Let me buy that. I need that defense. Yeah, I'm, yeah, some people do a good job of saving stuff like that. And then uh, for me, um, what was I going to say? What the hell were we just talking about? Yeah, so sometimes because this defense looks good against some runs. Now, I tried it a little bit. I didn't like it the best. Uh, I didn't think it was amazing. Um, and uh, But... Apparently, it did not get saved. I don't know what happened. I guess it was somebody, Schema was playing on leaderboards, and someone found it, and someone tried to emulate it. And that's that's how every nano blitz or every good defense gets out, essentially. Like, for me, for me, um, what I was going to say, for me, that's how I've always been. Like, if I see something that works on the leaderboard, I see something do, someone doing something that works really well, I'm going to try to do the same thing. I'm going to try to identify what formation it is, how to get it to work, who's the guy that comes free, is this guy in a, in a contain, is this guy on a blitz, whatever it may be. So for me, you got to figure out, and especially in this 
this day and age of technology with everybody streaming, everybody recording, even though if they're not on Twitch and like in like really promoting their streams, they still are streaming. You know, that's a big part. Like everybody streams like consistently, whether it's on Mixer or it's on Twitch, there's always man streams going on. The technology today, a recording games, even Xbox record that things like that to get every clip, even the highlights or the, the you know, yeah, the replays at the end of a Madden game are huge. They are huge. They're resources. So for me, uh, if you're going to run it on the leaderboard, you might as well be on stream. That's how I feel about it. You know, that's how I feel about all that stuff. If you are going to run it against a random person on the leaderboard, you might as well be on stream. You might as well be showing the world. For me, it's the same exact thing, you know. And uh, so I guess that's what happened. This run defense came out. Now, I don't know if the run defense is supposed to leak out. I don't know if Schema was upset about it being leaked out. I really honestly don't know. But as far as ebooks and everything like that is, ebook isn't necessarily about who makes the shit up, bro. Ebooks is about who puts the effort into make it a product and put the effort in the, into the marketing thing, honestly. You know, uh, and that's that. <laughs> that's, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, like, ebooks, and for me and for everybody that makes ebooks and everybody does that. It's more about the exposure, uh, the marketing, the ease of, of you know acquiring said ebook, the comfort that someone has with the person when they're buying an ebook. Those type of things are really important to uh, to the success of the ebook. It's not really about it's not really about the uh, who made it up or whose is it like that that shit. Now to blade now some now most of the people that make ebook that do this type of thing like. It's not really we're going to take somebody else's shit and find something to do with it. Because for us at this level of Madden, like, we all can find our own stuff. Like, pretty much any playbook, any defense, any offense. So there's really no need to take somebody else's stuff and, and sell it, honestly. Uh, but, I mean, if people are going to do that, and, and people have been doing that since the beginning of time. Whether they put it on YouTube, where they sell it for, where they sell it for their own benefit or whatever it may be, people have been stealing forever. What is it? Like y'all, all, everybody wants to talk about little man. All every every year we want to talk about little man. You know what I'm saying? That's all. I don't know what integrity means. I mean, I, I like what what like what do what do what do you want to happen? You know. Like I like, I don't understand like what I don't think there's anybody that like who put. I didn't buy, I didn't claim the shit and sell it. You know what I'm saying, chat? I didn't claim the shit and sell it. And I don't think anybody respectable claimed it and sold it. Like that's you know what I'm saying? So for me it's like it's never something I would do. It's never something that, you know, the main Madden people, the main websites in Madden would do, you know? Little man basically said, Don't buy this dumb shit, it's only one play, it only works against one run. Buy our shit. That's what he said. Which is corny. Cause if cause at the end of the day, if your name sell like, it. This is always felt about politics too, bro. Like, not I'm I'm not into politics at all, but I've always obviously watched the commercial. I feel like if I'm such a great product, right? If I'm such a great, if I have such a great ebook, right? If I have su if I'm such a good man player and I can sell this, that, and the third, why do I have to talk negatively on somebody else to make myself look better? That's how I've always thought about me as a person, me as a as someone selling stuff, me whatever it may be. I'm the shit. I don't care about what Tom, Dick, and Harry is doing down the street. If you like Tom, Dick, and Harry, God bless. Go talk with them. But I will tell you, I am the shit. So I have no need to waste my breath on telling you how bad other people are if I'm that good. That's just how I feel about it. You know what I mean? So for me, I've never did that. What? I, I, like, and this was, a, and I've always had a, like, a, I've always had like a, a, I, I get tired of people claiming shit. I claim this, I claim that, bro. There's like how many usable plays are in Madden? Fifty total. So me and Tom that we can't we can't go to practice one and say, oh, this is good, and and somehow come up with the same shit or the same route combos. That's impossible. I, I I've never like like. It's always the shitty people that want to claim shit too. That's mine. Like that, bro. That's like. Yeah, well, the little man shit speaks for itself. And honestly, for me, and honestly, for me, chat, I would tell you, if if little man did that to me, that's just, it's getting more eyes on my shit, honestly. Like, for, for real. 
I mean, yeah, some of my man B BD boy with the sub, man. So for me, it's like, bro, like go ahead and bash my shit, cause honestly, the him his shit getting bashed is probably one of the best things that happened to him, really. Y'all making too big a deal about this shit, like y'all like. Like why? Like y'all making way too big a deal about this shit. Like, it, like, doesn't matter at all. At all. This is super corny, but it's like, what? Are, like, what are we supposed to do? Like, I don't understand what y'all want to happen. That's all. Like, I I wouldn't care that much. I would laugh. I would laugh at it. But that's I'm chilling. You know. And, and honestly, bro, it, like, it, it's all about. I don't know who Lamar is, bro. I, uh, uh, Jay, I don't know who I don't know who you all the people you talking about, bro. Who's TNC Lamar? Is there a T is a TNC Lamar? Who is that? I don't know. Yes, Jake Manturf.com. You check it out, man. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on with all. I just, for me, listen. If y'all want to make money on ebooks, just work. Y'all got like honestly, y'all work. I don't even do it good enough to be honest. Um, and 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 scheming has done none. His whole, his, you know, what I'm saying like he hasn't grinded that shit. So he's not gonna he's not gonna be able to maximize his whatever he comes up with. You're not gonna be able to maximize it because there's no history, there's no foundation, there's no nobody why nobody sees it. You know. No, but I don't have time to keep my ears to the street. I want to unfollow as many man people as I can, bro. Earl caught another one, Clef. He being he being real calm right now. He caught two timeouts in one session, bro. He 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 close to another one. I'll tell you that. You know. But yeah, man. I just hopefully this run defense works, bro. And nobody can ever run the ball ever again. But in my experience, man, these fucking nerds are going to find the perfect run to audible to, boom, out of nowhere, boom, they're audible into this run, touchdown. That's how I feel about the nerds. That's what's going to happen. Now, if the run defense would have got saved and then popped up in man bowl, scheming might have been tough. I'm saying? No, here to think about it, Clef. I'm saying here to think about that shit. I'm chilling. I really just don't care about little man drama. Like, bro, the day I start talking about little man drama is the day, bro. I really ran out. I really ran out of my own thoughts and my own content, bro. Seriously. Like, that ass. If I got to start talking about what little man said, bro, y'all shouldn't even watch me do anything, honestly. That's how I feel like I'm. I'm not. I'm not the drama. I'm not the drama police, bro. I never want to be the drama police. That's one of my goals is to never be the drama police. I think that shit is corny. And little man bit of lame. They know that, man. Jefferson, I, I got you, bro. Let me stop the whole podcast and let's restart it for fucking Jefferson Four. I got you, bro. All you gotta do, listen. All you gotta do is go to videos and past broadcasts and just start it right now. Boom. There you go. I appreciate you coming by. I'm just capping at you. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, let's talk about drama. Like, bro, like, I don't know. I have enough content. I have enough creativity that I don't have to talk about what Tommy and Dick said to Larry. That's how I feel about it. I mean, I will if it's something, if it's something prominent or if it's something that, you know, I think deserves attention. But, bro, like... Like little man versus rage, bro. I'm good. That's not that's not a battle we're getting into today. Like little man already had a gauntlet with Wesley, bro. So I mean, we can't really go past. Can't do too much more after that, really, chat. But anyway, let me get up. We are tonight after the show, which is probably in the next five minutes. We're gonna play squads or duos or whatever the hell it is with Thorn, bro. So we're gonna rock some duos on Madden. So if y'all guys are interested in that, you can definitely stay around, and check that out. Rage, the rage can't be the combination of both of them, Wesley. That's what it is. Like when you have little man, little man has clout, but then when you add like what, like rage, like bro, that's a bad combo, bro. We not gonna do a show against little. Plus, little man not gonna have another gauntlet. He already, I think he lost the last gauntlet, bro. He can't have, little man can't have this many damn topics, bro. We might as well bring him on the show at this point, bro. 
All right, man, you be safe out there, man. Let's try to go get your girl back, bro. I know she left you and shit when you got skinny like a sucker. How you get that skinny and your girl left you? Misery got skinny and his girl left him. He was the man. When he was fat, Miz, he was the man, bro. He had a, he had a chick. He had swag. He had all this stuff, bro. Now he got skinny. He just got big-ass head and his girl left him. Type of fucking weird stuff is that? Yeah, I bet she did. Miz, Miz out here running fucking marathons and stuff. Yeah, weird as shit. Wesley, he don't play the game no more. He just come in here and talk shit. Like, Misery don't say nothing, like, happy. Like, he don't ever... Like, bro, I swear to God, if it was if it was just me and Miz, like, if we were in, like, Wawa or some shit, he would still talk shit. Like, he never says hello. He just talks shit. It's crazy. Yeah. Invisible lat syndrome. Yeah, Niner, we, we heard about that, bro. We definitely spend our days reading about invisible lat syndrome X. That's what we that's what I spend my days talking about, bro. For real. Invisible lat syndrome. Fucking Niner, bro. Oh my god. But this was the Need a Podcast episode 70. Shout out to 49er, bro.